Hello everyone, welcome to mailserverguru.com. Today we will get an introduction of Vesta CP command line. Vesta CP has very rich command line support. We can do almost everything we are doing from the web interface through command line. This is especially helpful for system automation and bulk job processing on Vesta CP. For example, we can create hundreds of websites and user space with one blow. So, let's see how we can use Vesta CP commands. Vesta commands are starting with the V minus option. So, if we type from the command line V minus then tab, uh, it will show us that all 370 possible commands so we can if we press yes then it will show us all the commands here so all the V minus options are Vesta CP command lines so if we want to uh, create a user let's create a user we add user Salim we can see the V add user options through here through the usage guidelines. So V add user, then the username, for example, Salim, password will be Salim123, and the email is required. So I'm giving my email address because I am the sysadmin or the administrator of this web hosting panel at gmail.com so we have added a new user named Salim from the command line so let's check from the web interface here at the web interface currently we are seeing only admin user present so if we refresh here we can see that user Salim has been created so let's uh, see its details the user details we can see the user details through the list user Salim here the username Salim the full name email address suspended or not the package assigned to this user shell all the details it can show so we list user to see the details of the user from the command line so to delete the user we can use we delete user salim and the Salim user has been deleted so if you refresh the Salim user is deleted so let's create the user again to create a web domain for him we add user Salim Salim123 now we can check again we list user Salim okay it's created and it showing its details so to create the web domain we add web domain we can hit enter to see that users details so we add web domain user Salim and the domain will be Salim Reza dot com hit enter so web domain salimreza dot com on salim user account has been created so to list or to see the details of this domain we can type we list web domain and the username salim and the domain name salimreza.com 
here the domain salimreza.com alias IP address and the default package uh, default template the creation time and date everything from the command line so the uses will be we list web domain then user and the domain name we better always check uh, first hitting the only the command then it will show us how to use this command so let's uh, create a database for the user we add database salim and we add database salim then the database name wp oh sorry the via database user database then db user also same and the database password selim123 yes so to show or to see the database we list database if we hit enter then user of course salim and the database will be salim underscore wp because the username will be using as uh, will be used as, as prefix here the database salim wp db user salim wp host and the type mysql and the creation time and date so if we check the web domain and the uh, database from the web interface here only the admin shows so let's refresh here user salim and we can log in as salim okay logged in as user salim then we can see a domain is added salim reza and a database also added salim underscore wp so we are uh, we have created a user a domain database from the command line without touching the web interface so let's uh, mimic an, uh, an environment um, let's see that uh, we need to create a lot of website a lot of um, uh, uh, database and user with one blow so how can we do that so let's let's uh, delete all those that we have created here first delete the database then let's delete the web domain then we can delete the user of course if we delete the user first then all uh, related domain and database and other things related to the user will be automatically deleted also so we have deleted everything now if we check again if you log out from salim we'll see only admin user present because we have deleted everything now we'll create a shell script and we'll um, assign we will input all the um, uh, Vesta CP command and the parameters to the shell script and we will execute the shell script with one blow and uh, and an user a de domain and a database will be created uh, through the shell script so let's create vi create uh, user no uh, vi Vista ready dot sh for example so we are adding the Vista commands we had user Selim Selim uh, password and the email address then we add web domain then we add database everything we can if you want to give a rest 
uh, press the CP then we can add slip just one second pause to execute every command slip one that will be okay ch mod plus x vesta ready sh now let's execute vesta ready sh so before executing the sh let's refresh the web interface again to see there is actually only admin user present so let's hit enter so it has created uh, it has created everything and it has done uh, the shell script execution so if we check the web interface we have refreshed the selim user account created now log into the selim user and the web domain also created the database also created so we have done everything from the command line and we have checked the user and the domain status we have deleted the user and everything and we have recreated everything uh, the domain the database the user uh, from the command line through shell script so this is an uh, introductory uh, video actually we can we can do a lot more uh, through um, uh, vesta command line so thank you